everyone, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name is Jordan, if you are new here or if you're always here, welcome back. Thanks for joining us today. I am really excited about today's video because, I mean, I say that about all of my videos, but a lot of you were requesting to see this. So today, as you've seen by the title, I am bringing you around for a backstage tour of Studio B. If you're new here and you're like, what the heck is Studio B? Studio B is the ice skating rink on Royal Caribbean ships. So if you are new here, I am a pro figure skater for Royal Caribbean. I work on board a cruise ship and I'm actually home right now. So I'm in my bedroom in Buffalo, New York, but I did just come home from my previous contract. So I filmed this when I was on board Adventure of the Seas. To give you guys a little bit of ship content since I'm sure you're already missing it since I've gotten home, I thought that this was the perfect time to release this footage. So I'm gonna walk you around Studio B, show you backstage and stuff, kind of go more in depth about everything because I've shown you backstage in a ton of my vlogs. So if you wanna look back at those, I'll have some linked. But yeah, you've seen bits and pieces of backstage in vlogs, but I never went in depth and kind of showed you every little piece. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you backstage of Studio B where we get ready for the show, where we do quick changes in the middle of the show. I'm also going to show you the sound and light booth and the office and a whole bunch of other things. So make sure to grab a snack if you don't have one already and let's get on into this tour. So I have shown this door a billion times on my channel, but this is how we, as crew members, access Studio B from backstage. So this is on deck two. And also this is where we warm up before shows. But this is technically not Studio B. This is right outside of Studio B. From the backstage deck two door, we do have some things over here. So this is where we store the Zamboni. A lot of you ask how we clean the ice for the shows. There is a mini Zam. It's so cute and small. But yeah, we have a little Zamboni. We also have this basket full of snow. So we use this snow to fill patches in the ice when they resurface it. Um, we also can use this ice if we have an injury or we need to ice our body. We just steal some snow and put it in a little Ziploc bag. And then there is some squeegees. I don't know the correct term, but I'll, I'm gonna call them squeegees. If there's too much water puddling up, we can like wipe these off. And there is more shovels hung up back there. So yeah, again, I don't really use this stuff. This is more stage staff property. I am stage right right now backstage. The backstage is set up for the show because we have a show today. There's Tessie. But yeah, all the chairs are set up for our presets. I haven't done my presets yet, but this is where I sit for the show. And we have one rack of costumes right here. And then the Toulouse rack is against that wall. This is like our normal setup for stage right. In the corner, we have a fan where we put our skates to dry out after a long day of skating. Yeah, and these are my costumes right here, so I do have to preset those. And my robe, Alex's robe, Tessa's robe. But yeah, usually during show, our costumes are all on our chairs. So we do have a bathroom backstage. It's literally very basic. Just gonna peek in there. There's a toilet, paper towels, and a sink. Nothing much to see. And there is a full length mirror on the door. We've got two garbage cans in the corner and this plays like call time or like beeps for us for call time. And I think we can sometimes faintly hear, yeah, the spotlighters on the microphone. Um, what else? Oh, right here we have our Toulouse frames, if you will, if that's what you call them. I don't know, they just sit here and the dressers help us put them on during the show, but they're kind of an awkward shape, so they're just tucked there. On the wall, we have a whiteboard for washing schedule and any other notes. We have a costume repair sheet, so if we break something during the show, wardrobe will fix it, so you just write it down. Above that, we have a blooper list for all our bloopers. Um, funny falls during the show because we put together a cast video at the end of the contract. This is a uh, everyday washing, and those are two notes from previous contracts. Over here we have two 
dressers. They're kind of wobbly. Um, in this one, we just have our Toulouse hats for one section of the show. And there's some spare wigs up here and headpieces. And then there is pictures of previous casts. So there's our cast, come back cast. Like I said, previous cast pictures. And then at the bottom there is a sewing machine for wardrobe. In this one, we have more stuff for wardrobe. That's basically the only person that uses these closets. But there's spare costumes for understudies and if something breaks or whatever and we need a quick fix. There's some odds and ends, so threads, pins, skate paint, laces, elastic, velcro. I think there's extra fishnets and hair supplies. There's also some more pictures on the inside of this closet. Very nice. And then above the closets, there's just some odds and ends. It's kind of unorganized, but there's some yoga mats and foam rollers up there. And then we have a shelf over here with all of our wigs. So they're all tucked like so. As you can see, here's my green beetle wig. And then we have some brushes for the wigs and we all have our own little fabric cubes. So we just kind of store whatever we want in here. I have just basics in here. I have some skating socks, I have tissues, a uh, little wiper for my blades, and then I have some other costume pieces, fishnets, just stuff like that. And on the floor there is some laundry baskets. So that one just has clean towels for if we need to wipe our face during the show or our body. <laughs> and this one is for carrying costumes back and forth from stage left to right and vice versa. That is the extent of stage right. And it kind of goes without saying, but we do have curtain here just to divide us from the wing because there are stage staff there when we're changing. And also there is a phone backstage, so that's nice to use if we need it for any reason with some important numbers on that sheet and a phone list next to it. Here is stage left. So very similar setup to stage right, but there's just less going on over here. So once again, we have all of the chairs set up for presets. We have another clothing rack with some costumes on it and a laundry basket. There is a full length mirror here and also on the opposite side. And next to the mirror, there are some papers. So once again, everyday washing. These are for reblocks. So if we have to do a reblock with anyone, there is reblocks for every single person. Um, this is some info for the dresser if they ever get confused what they need to do during the show. It's a little rocky today, so that thing is moving, but to be honest with you, I don't know what a lot of this set is for. We don't touch it or use it for the show. It's just kind of here. But we do have a fan on this side for skates. And of course we have Gab's infamous doll just chilling here. She just lays here when we're not using her. This ladder leads up to some storage. And then here is our fabric for the wedding section. I need to roll mine for the show actually. That is very annoying, I'm so sorry. And once again, there is a curtain to block off the wing and two more garbage cans. Here is the stage right wing. So we are right outside of backstage. Basically, this is just a little area where props are, set pieces, things like that. So there is a bit of floor space here. And sorry about the lighting, there is like this obnoxious blue light coming from above. But yeah, there is a monitor up there, like a TV screen that shows the ice so we can watch the show while it's happening back here. Also, there is two sets of little steps that usually go to the hydro, but the hydro is actually broken right now. So yeah, that's usually um, kind of where we enter from the sides. We also enter the ice from this little spot right here. As you can see, there are some backgrounds and like sets that come in and out from above. So the PM kind of controls those, but they're just tucked behind here. So you can see a few different sets for different parts of the show. We also have the Chagall and the concert piece kind of tucked away. 
because obviously we're on a moving ship so we don't want things flying around if it's a little bit rocky so that is rigged in we also have our Toulouse chairs set on stage right we just keep them like this when we're not using them and everyone has their own chair because they are slightly different heights I mean it's very subtle but it makes a difference <laughs> and so we just have them labeled mine is right there as you can see over here there is a little bulletin board it just has the daily cruise compass so it's switched out every single day we had this paper from our skater showcase but we haven't been doing that anymore there is a clock also over here we have two microphones for the cruise directors for when they close the show and we have our bows on this paper here is just another look at what the wing looks like and what the stairs kind of lead to and now we are on stage left like the other side we have some props kind of tucked away and stored we have the other concert piece that stays here i also have my stick for the show and my little elastic bands i wear around my arm and my foot as part of my costume so i kind of keep it here when i'm not doing the show but yeah, this is a concert piece. Again, there is that blue lighting that's a little obnoxious. We do also have some more props for the show. So we have the dolls that have the fabric over the top and this tree that is not looking stunning. She has seen better days. And once again, there is a staircase on this side. So we come up these stairs in the middle of the show during the wedding section. And also similar to the other side, there is more outlets, headsets, electronic things, if you will. These are the boards for all skates. They just kind of stay on this cart when we're not using them, but Stage Chef puts these up for the all skate session so that we don't have the curtain just hanging here. But yeah, they just kind of stay here. Now we are in the PM's office and the ice captain's little office desk area. So this is on deck three of the crew areas. It's actually right above stage right. It's pretty basic. It's just a little office space. So on this side, this is the ice captain side. So there's just important paperwork, safety stuff, things like that. And there is a desk with a computer. So this is where ice captain does all of his work. And we also do our chronos here very often. There is a shelf next to the desk where we can pick up schedules, other paperwork, safety observations what have you there is a shelf over here with a lot of folders not sure what's in those some santa hats for christmas time and binders for other important information but again we don't really use any of this as ice cast members only ice captain really there is a staircase or like a ladder that goes down to backstage there is two little sofa chairs right here very nice they are very comfortable we have a fridge a little mini fridge we can also drop stuff off for the ice captain and stage staff and whatnot this side is the pm's side of the office so once again there is a lot of binders with information and they're all labeled pm also has his own desk area his own computer and there is a few monitors around to show the ice and the PM's office and desk actually overlooks backstage, so if you can see right here, you can kind of see upstage of Studio B. And here there is more monitors, more switches. Everything is labeled, but I don't know what is what because I don't ever use it. But basically this is where the show is run and everything has a time cue. Then when I turn around, there is a bunch of filing cabinets, but we do not use these. But there is a printer here, so we can use the printer if we want, but it's more for, again, Ice Captain and PM. There's a disco ball. They used to put the floor on before COVID in Studio B, and there used to be parties in here, so that's why that's there, just kind of hanging. And we have hard hats from Dry Dock. Lastly, there is the box for all skates just kind of here so we store this in here when we're not doing all skates and we grab it when we are setting up behind these doors is the light booth so we're gonna just head on in and I will show you quickly what it looks like so here is the inside of the light booth I apologize in advance for my lack of terminology I don't know how anything in here works because this is not my field of expertise 
and I don't want to say anything that's wrong, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So it is kind of nice in here. It's kind of a vibe if I'm being honest, but there's a ton of monitors and switches and audio jacks and buttons and complicated things I don't know. So I'm not even gonna try to explain things that I don't know, but I just wanted to show you. So since this is the light booth, this is where the light tech actually runs the show. So this is their desk of operation, if you will. It does overlook Studio B and there is glass between the booth and the actual venue itself. So it's kind of enclosed. This paper just has some of the spot cues. So this is what these spots are told to do throughout the show. So as you can see, each one has a standby time, what spots, what frames, the cue, and when to go. And there is a computer over here. So that is the rundown. So here is the broadcast booth. It's actually locked, so I cannot access it and go inside, but I just wanted to show you from the outside what it looks like. There's more monitors and more buttons and <laughs> technological things in there, but it is literally at the front of Studio B and it's downstage center for us. And now I am in the sound booth. So this is in the opposite corner of the light booth. So it looks very similar to the light booth, but again, very different purpose. So there is this huge motherboard, if you will, with so many different buttons, knobs, things of that sort. So sorry, I feel like I sound so stupid right now trying to explain this stuff because I don't know. So if anyone is a lighter sound tech and knows about it, feel free to comment some information about what each thing is. The most important thing to know is that this is how our show runs smoothly. We owe it all to the light and sound techs. Very essential part of Studio B and our shows, but again, don't know how to explain anything that's happening in here, so sorry. Here's just a quick look at underneath the downstage seating. So these actually collapse for all skate session and this is where we have the open floor for all skates. So yeah, they kind of fold in. It's hard to explain just looking at it like this, but if you've seen other vlogs, you'll know what I mean by that. And while the seats are actually pushed out, this is where we keep all of the all skates. So there's one here and then there's one on the other side as well. Underneath the seating is where our sharpening room is. So it's quite small, but it does the job. So this is where we sharpen our skates. So usually there is someone who chooses to be the designated skate sharpener throughout the contract. They get a little extra money per month, which is nice. I don't know how to sharpen skates and I do wanna learn, but usually there is at least one person who knows how to sharpen skates and they do all of ours throughout the contract. And also on the machine, there is, again, important numbers and emergency response procedures. That is everything for the Studio B tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. So if you did enjoy, make sure to hit the thumbs up because it really helps out my channel. And thank you so, so much for 43,000 subscribers. The fact that we are almost to 50,000 blows my mind. It's a number I literally never thought my channel would reach. And my goal for this year is 100,000 and I really think that we can do it. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure to do, sh bleh, bleh, bleh. make sure to do so. <laughs> Any form of support is so appreciated. I literally smile every single day reading the comments that you guys leave for me and I try to respond to every single one. Same with DMs. I try to respond to as many DMs as I can, but I'm a busy gal, so just know that I do read them and I really, really appreciate you guys. You guys have changed my life, honestly, like 100%. I love you all dearly to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching. Get excited for more ship content very, very soon, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.